We're joined by Western Washington University women's soccer coach Travis Cannell. Travis, season's here. We've made it to the start line. Uh, team heads to Colorado tomorrow for games against Adams State and Colorado School of Mines. Just give me a little synopsis. How's, how's the preseason been going? Training sessions, three good exhibition games. Uh, how are the Vikes? We're doing well. Really super excited to play to these games and to travel together. It's been a, it's been a, about as good of a preseason as as we could have hoped for. We've we've stayed relatively healthy and uh, we've seen big strides taken by lots of different players, but also as the group figuring out how to play together and the opponents that we had each brought something a little bit different to push us and challenge us. So uh, we feel really good. We feel like we're in a good place. We're not a finished product yet, but uh, but we're off to a good start and and as prepared as you can be after two and a half weeks. <laughs> two and a half weeks, and then you're also talking about a 20-month gap between kind of championship seasons. Uh, spring, you guys were able to play seven matches in kind of a, a different setting. It wasn't a championship setting, but uh, able to get out there. What does it mean just to get back on the field and to, to play with, you know, these? All, every match means something. Uh, when you step out there in Colorado and then you come back and you, you have Sonoma and another tough schedule, and then you got the GNAC. What does it mean just to get out there and to put it on the line and to play these matches? It's different. It's different. Uh, I mean, the playing, being able to play in the spring, not everyone got to do that. And uh, so that was huge for us. And uh, being able to just play games. And uh, so that was really, really helpful for us. And I don't know what it would have been like if we hadn't have been able to do that. So that was fantastic. But there's nothing like games that count. And when the pressure of knowing that the results have an effect on your goals and your dreams for the season, so yes, there is some unknown that we're, we're headed into this weekend. I think everyone is mostly excited, a little bit nervous because it's, we haven't done it in a while. But uh, if you think back to why we all started this, it was it was for these situations where the games matter and you're playing against high level teams on the road. So so we're embracing it and, and we're doing it together. What are some of the keys to this team to have success? Obviously it's a program that has done just about everything in the last eight to ten years a national championship playing for the title but what are some keys to this team every team's a little bit unique to kind of take that step forward to keep the keep the fire burning yeah I mean it's that's, that's a really good question yeah. <laughs> it's been a long time and and some kids are just joining our program some have been on a break and through this pandemic and and some have been training hard and playing the whole entire time so uh, that's a good question. Uh, I mean, the uh, I don't think there's much that, that the coach can do. I mean, really, I think for us to be successful in this first weekend is for us just to manage all of this, right? Manage the first trip in a while. Manage games that matter and count uh, for the first time in a while. And um, help everyone to... Uh, play within themselves and feel feel like they know what their role is. I, really, I feel like the more simple we can make it this weekend, the better it is. Uh, once they get some of this under their belt, then their their true character and their championship mentality will naturally emerge. But but you're right, coming through this, getting through the first weekend is is going to be something that we haven't done in a while. One of the things you just mentioned right there is the details and and letting the student athletes play. And you're surrounded. Uh, they often say it takes a village, but you're surrounded by uh, some assistant coaches and staff members that are just phenomenal. And Claire and Jamie and Johan and Thomas. Uh, what, what does it mean to have them? You know, you, you're going on a road trip to Colorado, and I think I've seen Claire do just about everything in the office to get ready that no one really sees. What does it mean to be surrounding yourself by such champions at what they do like that? It's, it's, it's one of the things that separates our program from other programs. Uh, is, is the abilities, the talents that, that uh, our staff possesses, but also their work rate. I mean, they literally set an example for the student athletes. The student athletes know how much they believe in them because of how hard they work for them. So we are certainly very fortunate in it, and it helps when we are able to travel and whatnot because we're just that much more prepared. 20 months ago, thereabouts, with some change, you, the Vikings played for the national title. It's been a long time since then, but that is what this program is built on. Um, you won in 2016. West Region Championships seem to be a common thing. How do you keep that going with new group and new players and transfers and, and, and this gap that's been between seasons? How do you keep instilling that championship eliteness? 
We talk a lot about it, not necessarily championships, but 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 the process of of going about your business in a way that can lead to great things. And um, and uh, we are fortunate because there are there are pl new players that are coming into our program that have had championship experience at the youth level. We have and we have some returning players that have been part of our championships and. And that's that's huge because they they share they've had the experience already they know they understand what it takes and so they share that information with with the kids that haven't experienced it yet. Um, but we won't accomplish anything if we if we don't do it together and 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 so that's that's really the goal every season is how do we get from being this this group into this team that is on the same page and working towards their goals. Uh, and we've, we've got off to a good start this year. Good. Well, Vikings open up this weekend. Adams State, Colorado School of Mines. Fans can tune in online with links at www.vikings.com. Good luck to the start of the season. We can't wait to see you here at Harrington Field September 12th against Sonoma State. Have a good road trip. Have a safe road trip. And as always, go Vikes. Thanks, Jeff.